So guys, if you are living under a rock and haven't yet seen, there is a golden cape event going on right now. And basically it's like the gold party hat event where you just do some skilling or bossing or cluing. And eventually, I think it's like a five hour limit um, before you're guaranteed to get it. But it can take a while if you're unlucky, but you get some shards. And when you get eight shards, you hand them in to the wise old man over here. And then you get some rather nifty effects. And I uh, would recommend going for the Jagex account as well, but it's really useful and you get two shards straight away. So it's actually, yeah, I would recommend this service. It's actually a really good, really good launcher. But anyway, one of the buffs is the, uh, the skilling buff. So what that does is this one gives you unlimited signs of the porter for an entire month. So what that means is that any item that you gather with a gathering skill will get automatically sent to your bank. And we're going to have a little look through and look at the best things that I think you should use these on, especially if you have a lot of AFK time. Let's get started. So thing number one that I think is incredibly good is getting a Seren Spirit and a Divine Blessing instantly, but also mining. Um, so especially the low level rocks, because you get so, so many of them. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to stock up a bit at the moment. My goal is to get like three or 4K of every single ore on my Iron Man here, which should last me, I hope, for any future update that will ever happen. That's the idea. I don't know if it will, ha will be like that, but Either way, there's no better time than right now to get, uh, especially, especially at low level ones, kind of like up to, maybe like up to Rune or Arakalkai. But if you have time to do more, fantastic. Obviously, the uh, these later ones are much slower to obtain, so it's not so bad um, just doing stuff with the ore box. But yeah, I would definitely recommend doing some mining, especially if you are an Iron Man. All right, thing number two is not a huge deal because there is a bank literally right there, but... This buff does make chopping Acadias a little bit more convenient, just saves you uh, having to bank for a few seconds every inventory you get. And you know, that time probably does add up a bit, so I would recommend giving this a go. I'll be doing some of this after my mining, I think, because um, these are very useful for, I believe, spirit weed incense sticks, which don't get used too much on Iron Man, much more on Mainscape for sure. But I want to try and have a, at least a little stock of these while it's uh, fresh. But yeah, the, 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 this one isn't too important, but it, it's a nice thing to do if you have nothing else to do. Okay, this next one is hyper important, I would say. But gathering binding contract materials, so Blood of Orcus and Hellfire Metal, which is located in the uh, Infernal Source dig site. These things are going to be extremely important. So after I'm done with my mining, I will definitely be here doing all my AFK stuff for the rest of the month because, you know, by the end of it, I probably will have like 10,000 of each, maybe more. I don't know. That is a lot of binding contracts just ready and waiting. And uh, don't forget your resourceful aura because that gives you a bit of a uh, bit of a buff as well to uh, excavating. So don't forget, this is a great way to just train archaeology in general. This is probably the most uh, resource gather gather skill, I guess, just because you get so many uh, so many materials, uh, much more than uh, if you're woodcutting or fishing or something. So a very very good time to uh, get towards 99 or 120 arch if you're going for those, because infinite porters is very very strong. And after that, we have sandstone. I've already mined mine, of course, but uh, I would very much recommend doing this. You can do the whole thing in one invent with no porter charges used, of course, because you have unlimited. Um, so it really is quite nice to do these. Uh, you can make a good bit of uh, money as well if you're on Mainscape. And uh, yeah, don't forget the crystal ones as well. And yeah, do your sandstone with the porter buff. And speaking of sandstone, the Blessed Flask is a grind that every Iron Man may want to do at some point, even though it pains them to their very core. But this is probably one of the best uses for the Infinite Porters, because you can just mine, mine, mine all day without a care in the world. And then at the end of the day, when you check your bank, you realize you're barely any closer to the flask. Isn't that lovely? But yeah, definitely do a bit of this if you ever want a flask. And then we have fishing. This one isn't too important. Um, you just have a bit more time if you do the swarm, I guess, because you've got to surge down to the bank. So it would, it would, it's like Acadia's, you only save a few seconds. 
but having you know just infinite portals for this is quite nice um, obviously if you're doing lower level fish uh, this is probably even nicer because you get them so much faster but yeah fishing may be a last resort so uh, not a bad option but i think uh, other options may be better but it really depends on what you want to do so yeah one more thing that might be useful is mining pure essence actually because necromancy is coming in the future and it will require pure essence especially on an iron man account you will need uh an amount of it probably uh, a fair bit but uh, mining it afk like this is pretty good i believe you get five essence per swing um so it does add up quite a lot and is a decent way of doing it uh, of course the alternative is just like afking abyssal demons or something which is probably fairly comparable to this but this way you know you are completely afk and you don't have to worry about anything so might be an idea so just a heads up so there we have it. While simple to some of you probably, other people might have had a little new idea of what to do with their portal buff, um, especially this low level mining, which I think is incredibly, incredibly strong. And I cannot wait to have infinite rocks. It's going to be amazing. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. A little bit of a tip video, and I will see you again soon. Bye.